Hello everyone, in this video we will solve the example using RSA algorithm and this question is asked in the Mumbai University question paper in May 2024. So the example is given modulus n is equal to 221 and the value of public key e is equal to 7 and we have to find the value of p, value of q as well as phi of n and the value of d that is our private key using RSA algorithm and now after that we have to encrypt value of m is equal to 5. So m is nothing but our plain text message and we have to find the value of our ciphertext message. So now let's we start to solve the example. The first step is we have to find the value of our p and q that is our prime number and in the given example value of n is given that is 221. So we have to take the factor of this 221 and it should be prime number. So 221 is equal to, we can take it as 13 into 17. So we got here our two prime numbers that is P is equal to 13 and Q is equal to 17. Now the next step is we have to compute the value of our phi of N. So phi of N is nothing but P minus 1 into Q minus so I am putting the values here 13 minus 1 into 17 minus 1 and we got the answer that is 12 into 16 is equal to 192. That is our value of phi of n. Now the third step is we have to find the value of our d because e is already given. So the value of our public key that is e is equal to 7. So we have to check these two rules that is the first one, 1 less than e less than phi of n. So 1 less than 7 less than phi of n that is 192 that is true as well as our e should not be the factor of phi of n. So value of e is equal to 7. And 7 is not the factor of 192. Then we have to check GCD of E and the phi of N is equal to 1. That is GCD of 7 and 192 is equal to 1. After that we will find our private key. So finding the private key. We should follow this rule like d into e mod of phi of n is equal to 1. And our value of d is not known to us. That is we have to find the value of our private key. And we have our public key that is 7. Then mod of phi of n is equal to 192 and it is equal to 1. So we have to follow this rule. So finding the value of private key. We are using the extended Euclidean algorithm. So now we will find the value of our private key using this extended Euclidean algorithm. So first of all, we will make these columns. And we are putting here the values. Quotient. Then value of our A, value of our B, then reminder, then value of T1, T2 and value of our T. So here value of our A is nothing but value of our phi of N that is 192. The value of B is equal to value of our public key that is 7 and value of T1 and T2 is initially 0 and 1. So here value of T is equal to T1 minus T2 into quotient. So now let's we start to solve the example. 
So 192 divided by 7, we will get the value like 27 as a quotient and 7 as a reminder. Once we are putting the value like 0 minus 1 into quotient that is 27, then we will get here minus 27. So I'm writing here minus 27. Now we have to shape this value that is we will get here 7 and here 192 divided by 7 our quotient is 3 not 7. So we, we are writing here 3. So I am putting this 3 here in B column and we are shifting this 1 here and minus 27. So again we have to perform 7 divided by 3 and our quotient will be 2 and our reminder will be 1. And again, we can put here 1 minus T1 minus T2, that is 1 minus minus 27 into quotient, that is 2. And we will get here the value, that is 55. So, I am putting here value 55. Now, again, we have to shift the value, that is 3. And here it is 1. It is minus 27. And it is 55. So, 3 divided by 1, 3, 3 is a, 1, 3 is a, 3. And here we will get 0 and after that we are putting the value like minus 27 minus 55 into 3. We will get the value minus 192. Again we are shifting the value 1, we are 0, here it is 55 and minus 192. So once we got here 0, we will stop this procedure. And we will get here the value of our D, that is private key. So, here we have to check two rules. If the value of T1 is positive, then our value of D is equal to T1, that is 55. If the value of T1 is negative, then we will add T1 plus T2. But here in this case, value of T1 is positive. So, we are directly taking this value D is equal to T1 is equal to 55. That is the value of our private key. Now, here we will get the value of our private key. After that, we have to encrypt the data that is M is equal to 5. And we have to find our ciphertext. So, the plain text is given. We have to find the ciphertext. So, we have to perform here encryption. And the formula for our encryption is ciphertext is equal to p raised to e mod of n. So, the value of our p will be already given that is 5 and here value of our e is equal to 7 mod of n that is 221. Once you got the value of our D, that time you have to check this formula. So, what is this formula? D into 7 mod of 192 is equal to 1. So, what is the value of our D? That is 55 into 7 mod of 192. It should be 1. If it is 1, then your key value is correct. Okay, now for finding the value of 5 raised to 7 mod of 221, how you can take the values? First of all, you have to find 5 raised to 7 mod of 221. For this, you can calculate 5 raised to 1 mod of 221. So, 5 raised to 1 mod of 221, it is nothing but 5. Then 5 raised to 2 mod of 221 is nothing but 5 raised to 1 into 5 raised to 1 mod of 221 is equal to 5 into 5 mod of 221. Then we will get the value 25. Now we will calculate 5 raised to 4 mod of 221 is equal to 5 raised to 2 into 5 raised to 2 mod of 221. So, as you already got the value, 5 raised to 2 is equal to 25 into 25 mod of 221. And the value for this equation is 183 or we can write it as minus 38.
Now we will calculate the value of our 5 raised to 7. We will not go for 5 raised to 8 because we have to calculate the value of 5 raised to 7. So 5 raised to 7, we can calculate it as 5 raised to 4, 5 raised to 2, 5 raised to 1, mod of 221. That is equal to minus 38 into 25 into 5 mod of 221. Or else also we can write it as for 5 raised to 4 we got two values that is 183 also. So you can write it as 183 into 25 into 5 mod of 221. And we will get the answer after calculating by using calculator. We will get the answer. Hypertext is equal to 112. So we have performed here the encryption process and we will get our ciphertext that is 112. When you have to calculate the question that is 5 raised to 2 into 5 raised to 2 mod of 221. So any more calculation you can check my next video for how to calculate by using calculator that is the mod operation using 991 ES series as well as 991 MS series. The link is posted in the description box. So you can check how you can calculate by using calculator for this mod operation. So in the given example. This question is asked in the May 2024 question paper and based on the value of N is given, E is given, we have calculated the value of P, Q, phi of N, value of our private key and the value of our separate key. 